A capacitor is a device that stores electrical energy within an electric field. The simplest example of a capacitor is two parallel plates next to each other. In between these conducting plates, they can be separated by a vacuum, an air gap, or some insulating material. Let's look at how we can charge up a capacitor by connecting it to a power supply, such as a cell or a battery. One plate of the capacitor is connected to the positive terminal of the cell. The other side is connected to the negative terminal. Now imagine the positive terminal pulling electrons from this plate. So this side of the capacitor becomes positively charged. But then the electrons travel around the circuit, being pushed from the negative terminal onto this plate. The buildup of electrons makes this side of the capacitor negative. And remember, there is an insulating material in between so that electrons cannot pass through. Because this side is in deficit of electrons, and this other side is in excess of electrons, the imbalance of charge causes a potential difference across the plates, which is why a capacitor can store electrostatic potential energy. As you continue charging the capacitor, the potential difference across the plate slowly increases. But there is a limit to how much charge can be stored on a conductor. The capacitor will reach equilibrium when the potential difference across the capacitor is equal to the potential difference of the cell. When considering a charged capacitor, we say that the positive side has a charge of plus Q, and the negative side has a charge of minus Q. But the capacitor as a whole is said to have a charge of Q. We can define a capacitor's ability to collect and store energy in the form of an electrical charge by the measurement known as capacitance. The more charge a capacitor can store when it reaches equilibrium, the larger its capacitance. As an equation, capacitance is the amount of charge it can store for a given amount of potential difference. In symbols, capacitance is capital C, charge is Q, and the potential difference is V. The unit of charge is coulombs, potential difference in volts, so the unit of capacitance is coulombs per volt. Or more commonly, we refer to it as farads. If given a graph of charge against potential difference, the gradient would be equivalent to the capacitance.